All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing his truth in sincerity by Shimra Kakwadash. It's very much true that in the ministry, it is compared to as a race, you know, and uh, these scriptures were brought out at camp, you know, and uh, I just wanted to run them back because, you know, brothers need to understand that, you know, including myself that, you know, sometimes, you know, you're going to have ups and you're going to have downs, you know, sometimes you're going to be on fire and sometimes you ain't going to be on fire so, so much, you know, and the, these things happen, man, but you got to understand that the, 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 this truth is very much like a race, man. And the race is not given to the fastest, you know? So you do got to pace yourself, you know? You do got to uh, run this race, you know, as, as the Apostle Paul um, described the ministry, you know, with, 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 uh, with patience, man, you know? Uh, you know, because... This this truth, you know, seeing that we're supposed to measure the times diligently, you know, we know that we're 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 at the end, but but we know that some prophecies have to, um, still unfold. So with that being said, we you know we we need to understand that, you know, it's not over. You know, we still we still have to serve, Yahweh by Shimei Shai by by teaching this word, you know, and and and, and brothers, you know. Just understand, man, that you know you're not the only one that, that, is, that is struggling. You know you're not the only one that that you know is going through certain things and, and that you can't speak about or, or or you know you struggle to get videos up or whatever the case. But you know you, you got to do it. You know because if not, then you're not going to get the reward, man. You know. So let me start here in Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes nine and eleven. I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift okay and the, and the apostle paul you know the new testament he likened uh uh you know serving yahweh shy and 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 being this knowledge okay as as running a race you know in the book of first corinthians but remember that the, the race is not to the swift it's it, you know you're not going to win the race because you're the fastest it says nor the battle to the strong Neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill, but time and chance happeneth to them all. Okay, time and chance, man. Okay, so, you know, sometimes you're going to be up and sometimes you ain't going to be, be up, man, you know. And, 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 and just because you're fast don't mean you're going to win. You know, and just because you're strong don't mean don't mean that the battle is yours, you know, and so on and so forth. But time and chance happen to them all. So, you know, everyone has their chance. You know, the scriptures say the Lord makes it rain on the just and on the unjust, you know, and he blesses the good as, as well as even the evil. You know, you look at Esau, he's in his rulership. So, yeah, man, that's part of the truth. But, y y you know, nonetheless... You know, you, you have to put your best foot forward, man. You you, you, you got to run so that you may obtain, you, you know, this, 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 this ministry is, is very much like a race and we're going to, uh, we're going to read about it. This is first Corinthians. And I know brothers know these scriptures, you know, but, uh, I just wanted to run it back, man. You know, just, just a, a brotherly reminder, man. First Corinthians nine and twenty four. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all right, and and all of us are running, man. You know, all of us are running. All of us, brothers in the ministry. You know, starting with the apostles and to 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 the to the to the, to the lowest man. You know, so to speak, man. You know, we're all running a race, man. All of us. All of us are are trying to receive the reward of the kingdom. Okay, but one receiveth the prize. Okay, and and you know a lot of a lot might run a race, but one is going to receive the prize, so to speak. You know, o only a very uh, few are going to receive the prize. So run that ye may obtain, and you have to run 
you know, what at a certain pace. You know, you can't run too fast because the race is not giving into the swift. But then again, you can't run too slow, man, because you, you're going to get left behind. Let's look up this word run. Strong G, 5143, Trejo. Trejo. Of doctrine rapidly propagated by a metaphor taken from runners in a race to exert oneself, strive hard. You see, you know. It's, it's metaphorically speaking of, of, of runners in a race, this ministry, you know, to get to the end, which is the kingdom of heaven, you know, to ultimately get to, you know, to the the reward of the kingdom of heaven to to exert oneself, exert one, exert yourself to get to that to that reward. Strive hard to spend one's strength in performing or attaining something, uh, attaining something. Word occurs in Greek writings denoting to incur extreme peril, which requires the exertion of all one's effort to overcome. You see? Word occurs in Greek writings denoting to incur extreme peril, which it requires the exertion of all one's effort to overcome. You see? So when you run, man, you have to exert yourself. You have to strive hard to, to obtain the kingdom of heaven, man. Okay, and you're going to go through extreme perils. You're going to go through ups. You're going to go through downs. But that happens to us all, man. You know, but you have to run that you may obtain. Okay, it's going to take all your effort to overcome, man. You know, and, and brother, every brother knows, man, that, it, you know, every brother knows, man, that there's demons, you know, there's, there's financial issues. You know, you're battling the flesh, you know, but you have to overcome, man. You have to run that ye may obtain. And it says, and every man that striveth, right? You have to strive hard for the mastery is temperate in all things. And you have to be temperate. Okay. Strong's G, 1467. Ekratu Temperate, to be self-controlled, continent, to exhibit self-government, conduct oneself temperately, okay, having a balance, to figure, in a figure drawn from athletes who in preparing themselves for the games, abstain from unwholesome food, wine, and sexual indulgence, you know, this, this is the balance you're supposed to have, you know. Being an Israelite, it's a lot more, man, than just, you know, telling everybody about themselves, man. You yourself have to live a life that is upright, you know. You you have to watch what you eat. You have to watch the flesh, you know. You have to watch what you indulge in and who you hang around with, okay, and, 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 and you know, in wine and women, you know. What does it say down here? To exercise self-restraint in diet and chastity. You know, temperate. You know, and 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 you know, to, to keep it to keep it 100, man, you know, the spirit lusteth against the flesh, man. And the flesh against the spirit and will not let you do what the other one, you know, wants to do, roughly paraphrasing. That's why you have to be temperate, man. Okay, that's if you're striving to be a master in the truth, man, you have to be self-controlled. You have to find your balance, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta make time for your how about shimmy out shy, man. Not just for the flesh and for the entertainment and the fun things of the world, because ultimately, you know, the cares of this world can, can, you know, can uproot your faith. You know, this is an every man that striving for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, right? And, and, and people who, who, you know, go to the Olympics, you know, they, they want to get, you know, trophies or, or the gold medal or whatnot. But, but we're, we're trying to get an incorruptible crown. You know, we're trying to get an incorruptible reward, something that never fades. Okay. Something that is eternal. And that's what the kingdom you know, eternal life, spiritual bodies, you know, being with Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, so, you know, every man has to take measure of who he is and, and what, what he's about and what he's doing in this ministry. You know, you have to take a spiritual inventory, man, of what's important, you know, running to that you may obtain this race, you know, th this reward, you know, or, 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 or being slack, man, and, and letting, letting, you know, everything pass you by. 
you know, letting the kingdom pass you by, you know, not being able to 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 run to obtain it. And you, and you got to be honest with yourself. You really do. You really got to be honest with yourself. That's why the scriptures say, know ye not yourselves, lest ye be reprobate. You know. And I speak for myself, you know, first, man, you know, the scriptures say, uh, though, you know, but I would have, you know, that we are not reprobates, you know, because sometimes you're going to look like a, a fool. You're going to look mad. You know, you're going to look like, uh, all odds are against you that, you know, you don't, you don't belong in the ministry. You know, that that's what it when you read uh second second Corinthians thirteen and, and five and going on down, it's it, it tells you that. But I'll have you know that we are not reprobates, man. A, a, an elect man, a man of the most high, you're gonna go through some things, man. That's for sure. <laughs> that 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 is that is a fact, man. You're gonna go through some things that's gonna make you look reprobate -ish, man. You know. But a real man of the Lord is not going to be reprobate because he's going to understand and he's going to judge himself, you know, so that he don't be judged with the world, you know, continuing on this first Corinthians nine and 26. I therefore so run not as uncertainly. So fight I not as one that beat at the air, you know, and then he's going into, you know, uh, uh, metaphorically speaking about, uh, you know, uh, like, like, like a boxer, you know, like a, you know, no, a, you know, a boxer, he, he don't want to beat the air. He don't want to miss punches. He wants to, he wants his punches to land, you know? So you don't, you don't throw wild punches uncertainly. You know, you, you run with certainty where you're going, what you're doing, you know, you fight. Okay. You fight for, for this thing, man. It says, but I keep un, under my body and bring it into subjection. Lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. You know, and, and you, you have to subject your body, you know, curb your passions, man. You, you know, it's not the easiest thing to do, but, you know, the, the election, man, the Lord has them to the point where he doesn't let them fall into any things that'll destroy them. You know, that's the beautiful part that, that we have help and you got to tap into that health, man. I'm always praying, you know, you know, always keeping it more spiritual and that. And that's why you have to be temperate. Okay, because the Heavenly Father sees when a man, you know, makes time for him and has that 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 balance, you know, and always comes to him and prays and fasts and, 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 and reads and does what he has to do. You know, you, you have to always, you know, you have to catch yourself, man, before, you know, when you're going too far left or, you know what I mean, or too far right, being you know, over righteous, you got to be a perfect balance, man, you know. This is, but I keep my, I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest there by any means. When I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. Okay, so you have to keep your body in subjection, man. Let's look up this word subjection real quick. You know, and you all and pray first and foremost that, that you, you know you're you're doing okay what the heavenly Father uh, wants you to do. You know, Strong's G thirteen ninety six, Delago Gale. Delago Gale. To lead away into slavery, claim as one slave, to make a slave, and to treat as a slave with severity, subject to stern and rigid discipline, right? You have to discipline yourself. Subject yourself, you know, into a regimen of, 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 of you know, watching what you do, man. You know? Let's get this. This is Philippians 2 and 16. Holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Hamashiach that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. You see? Yeah, you're holding the word of life. You know, this, this word teaches you what to do in life. You know, so. For the most part, you know, man's going to get out of the them temptations, them snares and them pitfalls, man. You know, and it happens to us all, man. You know? So, you know, run that ye may obtain. This is that I may rejoice in the day of Hamashiach, right? You want to rejoice knowing that you've done all to stand, that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. You see, that you have not run in vain or labored in vain. Okay, so run that ye may obtain, Akim. You know, I speak for myself first and foremost. You know, I myself go through many, many different things, you know. But, you know, 
I, you know, you have to keep it real. We how about shimmy shy and come to him and tell him, you know, I need I need help in certain areas, you know. Admit admit your wrongs. You know, have integrity, man. Integrity, honesty, humility will take you a long way in this knowledge, man. Especially towards the Lord, because the Lord sees what we're doing. The Lord sees what we're doing when we're not around brothers, man. Okay, so run that ye may obtain, knock him, Lord willing. This was this was uh you know edifying and it was a you know just a reminder, man, that we all go through these things, man. But pick yourself up, you know, and, and continue on while you still have this truth. Again, I hope this was edifying. Shalom, brothers. Shalom.